Hey everybody, welcome to RLC Designs channel. I'm Rich, and right now I'm sitting out in the Granite Dells. Thought I'd have a little fun today and uh, share a quick tutorial with you. Number one, before I go any further, if there is wind on this audio, I do apologize. I do have a lav mic here, but um, the high desert is windy, period. And when you get outside here and you get the blasting winds, it does come across, so we'll try to minimize that as much as possible. Um, item number two, sorry for wearing my sunglasses uh, while doing the recording. Um, I've had some complaints over the years when I pop things up with my hat and my sunglasses, but quite honestly, it's really bright out here today. Um, that's the other part of the high desert, is there's often a lot of sun, so uh, sunglass envy, go ahead and put that to the side. So, what are we doing out here today? Well, let's take a look around real quick. I'm going to pan this around. Number one, I just want you to see, I've got my 5D Mark II out here with me right now. And I'm sitting in the Dells looking out at some really incredible um, clouds and the rock formations and the stacked rocks. And is it no wonder why I uh, enjoy photographing out here? This place is just too much fun and too beautiful. So we're sitting out here in the Dells and what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap off a couple photos with the Canon 5D and we're going to take those photos back to Lightroom which is my main go-to and we're going to see how well those images came out and if we need to do any minor editing. A um, couple of things about editing just to keep in mind just picking the scene that you're photographing is already making a decision about edits because you decided to display something and not something else. So the moment that we uh, put the camera in our hands, we're making decisions about uh, making an edit. And so then we get it back into uh, tools like Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop. And a lot of folks... Um, don't want to see photoshopped photos. Well, interestingly enough, a friend of mine years ago pointed out to me that uh, well before the advent of digital technology for photography, editing was still going on in the darkroom. Uh, there's a thing called dodging and burning, so where you can darken or brighten uh, parts of an image uh, using chemicals in the darkroom. And so what we're going to do today when we play around with Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, we're probably going to do some dodging and burning to, to get the scene just how I wanted it. But it's a very, very minor edit. And quite honestly, something that was achievable long before uh, digital cameras came along. So all right, I'm taking a look at this scene out here, if you can't tell. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the uh, GoPro recording for a moment. And I'm going to pick up my camera and snap off a couple of shots. Most likely I'll be doing three exposures for each scene uh, just in case if I'd like to do some high dynamic range photography afterward. And uh, second warning, when we get back from being out here in the Granite Dells, um, the audio quality might change. Number one, there won't be wind on my microphone. Um, number two though, there might be some background noise for air conditioners and fans because I do still live in an Airstream and uh, 25 by 8 space, it's hard to uh, muffle that air conditioner sound completely. All right, I'm going to put the GoPro down now and I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Canon 5D Mark II. First, I'm just killing the GoPro and tossing it into its case so that it doesn't get scratched up. And all right, so you're still with me on audio, and I'm trying to stay out of the wind for you. I'm desperately trying to stay out of the wind for you. All right, so I've got my scene. It was already in my mind. And as you heard, that was three frames. So I'm just preparing to do a high dynamic range photo. But when we take this into Photoshop Lightroom, I will actually um, make sure to do some single frames just so you can see what I'm talking about with dodging and burning. All right, so that's looking really good to me, and I'm going to get one more. And while I'm looking through my sensor, and it needs to be cleaned. The um, Canon has not seen as much activity lately. While we're here, I'm just going to break out my iPhone as well. 
and just do a quick little iPhone photo that we can throw into Lightroom after too. So let's see here, there we go. And just a single frame with the iPhone, but I'm gonna capture a similar scene that I did with the Canon. All right, there I go. I shot one more item. We'll pop that up on the video. I think I'm gonna take you for a walk over near the lake really quick, just to get a little more, um, a little more to work with. Okay, I'm trying to be out of the wind again here, but it's coming around the rocks, unfortunately. So I'm moving over, and hopefully this will stop some of the wind in the audio. I did want you to get to see, so we are at the top of a really great climb known as Thor's Wall. A uh, set of uh, several climbs here, all sport routes. And uh, this is also just a favorite spot to come and take in the whole scene of the Granite Dells and Watson Lake Park. So as you can see, pretty stunning stuff. Out in the distance here, I'm actually seeing a couple of kayaks pulled up on the rocks. That's really cool. And so I'm going to snap off a couple more frames here. Since we're out here, I might as well take the opportunity. All right, everybody, we're back at the Airstream after a quick walk th back through the Dells and uh, nearly getting my hat blown off a couple times. Right now, I'm popping in the CF card from my Canon, and we are in my Lightroom library, so I'm just waiting for the uh, CF card to get recognized here. And it seems to be taking a moment. Up oh, there it goes. We got the happy little spinner. All right, so these are the shots that I got while I was out in the Dells, and you were along with me. And I'm going to pop some keywords in here. Granite Dells, Prescott, Lightroom Lesson. And we don't need to put the date in because it's going to pull the date in. And it's also going to pull in the camera that I'm using. So I guess I'll just go with those for now going down to the right hand corner and I'm doing an import. Now if you'd like to learn more about Lightroom and uh, you haven't used it before I do have a series of videos um, showing how to use Lightroom and actually how to set up Lightroom from the start. So I took a couple of snapshots on my way out before we started recording as well so these first couple um, have nothing to do with what I shot when we were on the uh, GoPro earlier. But just a couple more images for me to play with later. And there we go. Now we're uh, right here is where the images started. And this one's really blown out because I did three fl frames, overexposed, underexposed, and properly exposed. And I do those for when I'm planning on doing HDR images, high dynamic range photos. But we're just going to take a look at this current import and it's just about done copying and importing right up here and so we're just about there and then I'm going to once it's ready I'm gonna go change the sorting I don't want the added order I want the captured time alright so there we go that's the walk up so here is the first properly exposed shot um, so when I'm doing the overexposed, underexposed, and properly exposed, um, the way I've got it set up in here is we see the properly exposed one first, the underexposed one second, and the overexposed one third. So if you were just taking a single shot on your own um, and you weren't preparing for an HDR image, uh, this would be the image that you'd probably walk away with. And one of the things the blue sky is looking pretty close to that uh, to what we saw on the GoPro um, so there might, might not be uh, a lot of work to do on this one but I'm just going to take a look through here and see if I see uh, a better setup if I enjoyed the image a little more 
Let me see, like that one right there. That one might be of interest. So we've got the single exposure, and maybe I just want to do a little with this image. So what can I do? I'm going to jump to the develop module really quick, and I'm just going to grab the brush tool for doing some dodging and burning. So dodging is brightening, and burning is darkening. And one of the fabulous little tools that the develop module in Lightroom has right over here is a brush tool. I'm going to click on that brush tool, and right now I've got some custom setups from before. But what I'm going to do is go down to burn, and now I'm looking along here, and the burn brush has dropped the exposure by negative uh, 0.3 EV. I don't know if that's going to make a big difference, but I'm going to go in here and brush that underexposure in. So we're just, I'm just brushing along here, and you've probably seen this in some of my other videos as well. And let's go look at where I was brushing that in. Sure enough, I got just about everything. Maybe I'll paint a little more down here. But um, negative 0.3 isn't very dramatic. So now that we're selected on that brush, I'm just going to drop that exposure a little more. And all we're doing is dropping the exposure, and we're actually kind of making it a little richer. We didn't even need to touch the saturation or anything. But I also like the clouds to have a little more edge to them. So we're still in the same brush. I'm going to adjust the clarity and just to make it a little cooler looking. I'm also seeing a, a bad artifact right in here and before I do anything else I'm going to go ahead and handle that. I'm closing the brush tool and I'm just going to get my little spot removal tool here. I'm going to zoom in. Sure enough I've got some crud on my sensor so I'm just going to click on that right there and it selects nearby and it took that little uh, aberration right out of it for me. I'm going to go back to that brush tool again and I'm still in the same brush because I noticed that there was some not quite finished up there. Whoops, Command Z. And I want to reselect this brush. There I go. Alright, so we've darkened the skies up a little bit and actually I don't think that we need to brighten the foreground. I think it's pretty well lit. Um, we could do a second brush actually. I'm going to do a new brush and we're not going to lighten that really. Um, there's the dodge tool. See if I go in here and start painting in here it's going to make it too bright. So I'm going to go ahead and continue painting in here but I'm going to take the uh, bump up in the exposure away. So let's just make sure that I painted pretty well. Yep, I got just about everything here. Uh, I'll paint down here in the corner. And I'm going to put that exposure back to where it was, zero. I'm going to add some more clarity just to get some more edge definition to the rocks because I like seeing the edges here. And um, I don't think saturation would do us any good, but let's see. Pushing up the saturation colorizes the rocks a little more, but really the rocks were fairly well washed out because of where the sun was in the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and close that brush. So just two little adjustments. By the way, I see another artifact up here. And I'm just going to grab that little cloning tool again. Just to fix that because they annoy me. And so that's looking pretty good. Maybe one more repair up here. I noticed that one. So this is a very, very quick edit on the image. And now let's go back to our image in the gallery display. And I would just like to, actually, let's go to the develop. Let's see the differences. When I'm in the develop module, I can compare what it looked like originally to what it looks like now. So as you can see, uh, deeper, darker sky, uh, a little more edge to the clouds. And on the left-hand side, this is the original. So if I zoom up in here, we can see. So we, we pulled out just a little more color in the rocks, not much. 
And let's go get a look at that cloud, for instance. So definitely a little edgier uh, on the clouds. So given the time of day that I was photographing at, I'm not super surprised that we're not going to get too much more out of it. Um, it's a very bright day, and we're shooting with high sun, and that's going to happen uh, when you're shooting with high sun. Now I'm just looking through a couple more images, and maybe this one. I like the look of this. So this is the zero EV shot, and I'm going to go ahead, pull up the develop module again, and instead of using the brush, I'm just going to go into the editor here and take a look at this, and let's just go ahead, let's push the clarity up a bit, and boy did that actually punch the skies as well for me. Um, we're seeing the same artifacts that we saw before, so I know that there's stuff on my sensor, blah and we'll fix that. Um, maybe a little more in the way of vibrance, but we're not going to touch saturation. I'm not a fan of the saturation slider at all. So we've punched up our clarity, we've punched up the vibrance a little bit, so definitely a little more compelling of an image here, um, just with two sliders, the clarity and the vibrance. And just so you know, what did it look like before and after? So definitely the one on the right hand side is richer. And the last thing that I'm going to do to this one, I'm going to zoom in on these artifacts again. And clearly tomorrow I will be cleaning my camera's sensor because I don't like seeing that. It's easy enough to edit out these little items, but I'd rather just clean my sensor and not have that garbage on there. So all right, those two look better. There's the final one that I'm saying, actually final two. So oh, this is what happens when you photograph with a dirty sensor. So in the end, I'm very satisfied with what we just did. And this was a super quick edit. You know, it, how long did that take? About a minute. So we're not doing anything major. We're not massively altering it. But in the end, it is a little more compelling. By the way, while you were listening along with me, and I noted that I saw some people out in kayaks. There's the kayaks way out there. Um, I was using a wide-angle lens today, so I couldn't zoom in on the kayakers at the time. All right, so there's the quick and dirty uh, fast edits uh, of two images in Lightroom after going out and shooting them in the Granite Dells and taking you along for the ride. So. I hope that you found this quick little tutorial valuable and that you understand it doesn't, you don't have to use a heavy hand to change these images and to improve them slightly just to be a little more appealing and also a little more representative of the day. Like I said, we were shooting in really high sun and, you know, shooting in the afternoon, uh, everything gets washed out. So bringing back the sky a little bit, adding some extra edge detail to things is not a bad thing, uh, especially if you're showing off a landscape that you saw. So my, my big thing is I like to um, put out images that look like the scene that I saw while I was there. Keep in mind, I was wearing a pair of polarized sunglasses, so I was seeing deeper blues and some richer colors. And so I'm getting my image closer to uh, what I saw through those sunglasses. Well. Thanks for stopping by and uh, watching this tutorial with RLC Design. We'll be popping up more tutorials in the near future, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see something in particular, please feel free to leave a comment on the channel, and we'll see if we can do that for you.